Dozens of protesters attempted to send a message to Butler County Sheriff Jones here in Hamilton. We just want the sheriff to, to do his job, to uh, protect the people that he serves, the taxpayers that fund him, and the people who put him in office. Organizers from advocacy group Indivisible Ohio calling for deputies to carry Narcan to help save addicts overdosing from heroin. It's a life, period. Have resources ready for them. If they overdose, have a packet ready. Sheriff Jones doubled down today, saying he won't have his deputies carry Narcan for their own safety. It's really, really sad, but uh, Narcan's not the answer, and I'm not apologizing for anything I say. Just this week, a fuel truck driver overdosed in Cleves. A male driver OD'd in the middle of I-75 this morning. Today, a truck driver, Larry Jaycox, came to support Jones, putting up this sign on his truck. When I'm in this truck, if you're passed out behind the wheel or stopped in the middle of an interstate, 80,000 pounds is going to run you over. Then I have to live with that the rest of my life. Jones gained national attention for his stance on Narcan, but several other police departments in Butler County also don't carry the drug. Narcan isn't the issue. The issue is the people that are dying or doing these drugs and our politicians and our government does nothing. Now, other departments like Middletown, Westchester, and Hamilton also don't carry Narcan. Officers there tell us that their firefighters and medics have that life-saving drug and respond to OD calls with police. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5. All right.